Good afternoon, Damians. I am Mam Fe, one of your guidance counselors. And I am excited to share with you the fourth tip or approach in this Damian Motivational Enhancement Series to deal with the daily challenges and adjustments as we celebrate the Mental Health Awareness Month. And this is on positive self-talk practices for success. As a student during this pandemic, it is important to be resilient and confident and be successful in most, if not in all endeavors, including in your online class. What is this all about and what is positive self-talk? What are some ways to practice or do this? We are always reminded that to build a strong body, we must exercise our muscles. And to build strong self-concepts, resilience, and confidence, we need to exercise our positive self-talk. Now, let me ask you, have you tried saying this yourselves? I can't. I don't look good. I wish I look like my best friend. Hindi ko kaya ang magsalita sa harap ng maraming tao. Hindi ko kaya tapusin lahat ng task ko or these encouraging words. I am a worthwhile person. I can and will give it all to make it work or I have the confidence to do this. I think one way or another, we send or give these comments ourselves. When we do this, we are doing the self-talk. Most of these are not verbalized, but they are heard and handled internally. Now let us try to define what is self-talk. Self-talk is the internal narrative you hold about yourself. The act of talking to yourself either aloud or mentally. No matter how good or bad, these are the messages that you are telling yourself all day long about yourself. So it provides an interpretation and meaning to what you're currently experiencing or thinking about yourself. It is a combination of your conscious thoughts and your unconscious beliefs developed throughout your life, how people have related to you and how you felt about yourself in various scenarios. This internal thoughts shape and influence how you respond to any given situation. Now let us take a pause and guess how many thoughts you have per day and what kind of words do you say to yourself. Researchers estimate anywhere between 50,000 to 70,000 of thoughts go through your brain. And our brain is like a computer. Each day, everything and everyone around you has been programming you. And self-talk has done the majority of the programming. That makes it important to understand self-talk and assess what kind of words you say to yourself. Because these have bigger influence on the way you look at yourselves and the world around you. Let us remember that self-talk can be positive or negative. It can be encouraging or it can be distressing. Most of your self-talk depends on your personality. If you are an optimist, your self-talk may be more hopeful and more positive. Now, there are two types of self-talk tones and let us differentiate these two. We have the negative type where our patterns of self-talk are all too often negative. We focus on preconceived ideas that we are not good enough or always a failure or can't do anything right. Our brains are hardwired to remember negative experiences over the positive ones. So we recall the times we didn't quite get it right more than the times we do. We then replay these messages in our minds, fueling our negative feelings. Now we also have the positive type. Positive self-talk, as you may have guessed, is the flip of negative self-talk. It's like having an optimistic voice in your head that always look on the bright side and are born into positive and good. We say, I can do better next time, or I choose to take the challenge. It's not about deceiving ourselves into thinking things that are inaccurate. According to Jans, it's more about showing yourself 
some self-compassion and understanding for who you are and what you've been through. Now let us have some of the benefits of positive self-talk. Let me share with you three of its importance and benefits. First, it helps to reduce stress. It can reduce stress because positive self-talk helps you to reframe the way you look at stressful situations. You will approach challenges with the best of your ability. And whatever be the outcome, there is acceptance and you can say you did the best you could. You can deal with the situation with I can do this mindset rather than a negative. It can open new ways of thinking and also problem solving. Second, it helps to boost confidence and resilience. Approaching life with a positive self-talk approach can help to boost your self-confidence and your resiliency. Regular positive self-talk can help you to feel more confident in the face of achieving your goals. As you instill yourself with the belief that the things you want are achievable. And when problems do arise, you find yourself not giving up, but continue to work what is expected of you. The third one, it helps build better relationships. You're probably aware of what it feels like to be around someone who is positive, self-assured in what or in who they are as a person. They display confidence and it reflects positively on those around them. People who utilize positive self-talk are also extremely capable of picking up on the positive traits of those around them. Now, let me share with you some basic techniques on how to improve positive self-talk. Before you can begin to use positive self-talk, you first need to identify how often and what type of negative thinking you engage in. Once you understand this, you can start on retraining your thoughts. Now, negative self-talk has four categories. The first one is personalizing, meaning you blame yourself when things go wrong. In failed relationships, for example, or assignments or projects, you blame no one but yourself. The second is polarizing. Here you see things only as good or bad, no gray areas or room for middle ground. The third is magnifying meaning you only focus on the bad or negative in every scenario and dismiss anything good or anything that is positive. The last one is catastrophizing, meaning you always expect the worst. You see no hope or reason to continue. So the point is, once you start categorizing your thoughts like this, you can then begin to work on switching them for more positive frames. Remember, this is a process. You'll need to ensure you put into practice to really hone in on your self-talk and identify where changes are needed. Next, check in with your emotions regularly. Switching to positive self-talk takes effort. We're so attuned to negative self-talk that it might only take one or two minor setbacks to put you back down that path. When challenges do arise, make sure you check in with how you are feeling and that your self-talk hasn't gotten negative. Next, don't be afraid to create boundaries. Sometimes there are people in our lives who don't bring out the best in us. Identifying self-talk traps might also mean identifying the person or two who encourage you to think negatively about yourself. So it's okay to create boundaries and remove or lessen contact with these people. Focus on surrounding yourself with people who talk positively about you and encourage you to do the same. Express gratitude. This is a great way to find the positive in your life and create positive self-talk. This is to recognize the things in your life for which you can be grateful, big and small. This will help you focus on the good things that are happening in your life. 
simple like spending time walking and talking with a friend. In this way, you are helping yourself focus on the goodness in your life for which you can be grateful. Avoid all or nothing thinking. This can be a source of pressure because it involves using absolute terms such as never or ever. This type of faulty thinking can also include an inability to see the alternatives in a situation or solutions to a problem. So instead, learn to be more accepting of the different experiences that life will bring you. Focus on doing the best you can and trust that the best outcomes will follow. When you avoid all or nothing thinking and concentrate on the work that you're doing, you'll have peace of mind. Utilize also positive affirmations. Positive affirmations are a great way to switch up our self-chatter. Before a situation even arises that might incite negative self-talk, practice saying positive affirmations in the mirror to encourage your positive approach to yourself. Now, let me share with you three activities using positive self-affirmation. First, we have switching gear exercise. Now that you know where your negative self-talk might be holding you back and when it arises, you can look to switch gears about how you talk to yourself. This exercise involves taking the negative self-talk you use and reframing it with a positive self-talk alternative. For example, you say, this deadline is impossible. I'll never be able to get the work done. Try to switch this to something positive, like saying, this is a lot to accomplish, and I can only do what I can do. As long as I keep my teachers informed, I'm sure we can make or I can make this work. Another example would be, I get very low scores in my trial exam. My relatives are right in saying that I should not have proceeded to college. You can switch this to, I know I didn't do well, but that's okay. Now I know what I can do next to be better. Now remember, learning positive self-talk is learning a new language. There is a need to repeat. Repetition is the key. Now another is making a positive self-talk worksheets. This worksheet is list of pre-filled situations to respond to with space to write in new situations that might be more specific and relevant to you. Here you can identify some threatening or negative situations and make a positive approach to it. We have two examples of these situations. First is having to speak to someone new. Our negative self-talk would be, they will think I am weird or they won't want to talk to me. You can say it in a positive self-talk by saying, I am, an interest, I am rather interesting and this person seems interesting too. Maybe I will make a new friend. Or another situation would be completing a video requirement in my English or history class. Negative self-talk would say, I will not do this. I am not comfortable facing the camera. I don't know what to say. But you can switch this to, I will do a lot of practicing to be more comfortable in front of the camera. This is a new experience and I will learn new things from this. We also have doing the positive talk journal worksheet. Of course, journaling is a fantastic way to focus more on the positive in your everyday life. It can be a resource for helping inspire behavioral changes. Here you can complete some of the phrases. You can do this daily or accomplish the worksheet daily. We have some examples like, I felt good when, I am proud of myself because, I had fun, the best part of today, or good quality I am learning is, I feel strong when, 
something I am grateful for or something good about my life is. All we have to do is complete this with positive thoughts. So in summary, we have identified six steps or strategies. First, we identify the negative self-talk category and self-talk traps. Second, try to check in with your emotions regularly. Third, don't be afraid to create boundaries. And of course, always express gratitude. Say thank you and avoid all or nothing thinking. And the last one, always use positive affirmations. Positive self-talk is not a quick fix band-aid solution. You need to consistently listen to it for at least three weeks to see results. The 2190 theory states, it takes 21 days to start a new habit and 90 days of practice to keep it. The practice of the new action should also be consistent to keep it. There are more to say and share about self-talk, but for now, these are some of the basic tips or techniques you can practice when confronting with some challenges and adjustments. The guidance team shall be sharing more of these tips on becoming resilient in this time of pandemic. I hope you have learned something from my sharing and I pray that you are physically and mentally healthy and spiritually strong and connected as well. If you have some problems and concerns, feel free to contact your guidance counselors. We are ready to listen to your concerns. Now let me end my talk by sharing with you some inspirational message from our deans. So when you affirm yourselves, remember to include in your positive talk these encouraging words. Now let us always remember the words of John Asaraf and I quote, be careful what you say about yourself because someone very important is listening and that is you. Be kind to yourself, everyone. Thank you and good day. Good afternoon, my dear students. How are you this time? Kumusta na? I do hope that somehow you are able to adapt to our new learning modalities amidst this pandemic crisis. I know that some, if not all of you, find it difficult to learn on your own. I feel your struggles. Always remember that you are not alone in facing all this. Do not allow this pandemic to stop you in reaching your goals in life for your family and most especially for yourself. As you experience this new normal in learning, you are now putting into practice the pillars of learning, that is, learning to know, learning to do, learning to live together in peace and harmony, learning to be, and learning to transform oneself and society, preparing you to become a 21st century future teachers. We are all in this together. We will learn as one Notre Dame. Good luck and God bless you all. The 21st century skills calls not only to become knowledgeable in terms of content, but must acquire the skills to man itself, to become resilient, in all challenges you encounter. Our future is uncertain, and the mode of delivery of teaching in the next semester, or maybe even next school year, is still uncertain. We have to be flexible enough and prepare for it. You now have a taste of your future classroom. This kind of learning modality that you're using will be similar, if not totally the same. By that time, you are not any more alien to the teaching and learning modalities of your future school. You matter to us, dear students. We care for you, so please take care of yourself. Always tell yourself, I matter as a student and I will take care of myself. Say it again, I matter as a student and I will take care of myself. We are all in this together. We will learn as one Notre Damian. Good luck and God bless you all. To the College of Business and Accountancy students, Today, no one is excused from the different struggles brought about by the COVID-19 pandemic. During this most trying time, you are experiencing difficulties, anxieties, fears, and uncertainties as you continue your academic endeavors through online distance learning. 
wherein you cannot see your teachers, your classmates, and your friends personally. But despite all of those mentioned, you can always have control of yourselves, your thoughts, your actions, or even your choices. Remember what Pope Francis once said, Life is good, make it beautiful. Therefore, learn to manage your stress and keep all aspects of your life healthy. Never cease to look forward to the future. Continue embracing challenges and remain determined. Stay resilient and encouraged when you feel everything is overwhelming already. Remain connected. Your family, your friends, your classmates and teachers can be your great support. Always know that God is with you and will never leave you. During this most challenging time, with the grace of God, you will all get through it and you will rise above all these challenges and struggles. Make the present situation a perfect occasion for you to be better and emerge stronger. I wish you all the best of luck. God bless everyone. Greetings to all students. Our situation seemed to be hindering our desire to pursue with our dreams due to the restrictions imposed by our health authorities in relation to the spread of the highly contagious disease called COVID-19. However, our resiliency and determination to learn and rise up from the mire of ignorance is so strong that no virus can prevent us from learning. As part of blended learning, online classes as well as the use of module seem to be the answer to the present predicament. Thanks to our ever sophisticating technology, it is now available and of course possible to hold an online class using apps through internet which is now commonly called the online class. At this point of time, we had to cope up with this situation until such time that a remedy can be found which is believed to be the vaccine that would immunize all human beings from the mentioned virus. As your head in the department, I am always available to you through online communication, wherein you can call me within certain span of time, or send a message through private message in the messenger, or email in my Google or Yahoo account. I would be very much willing to answer your questions and assist you with all my capacity for as long as it is confined to your learning process. Find the opportunity to learn more by reading and browsing similar topic online so that theoretically your knowledge will increase and when you are ready, actual experience can take place. When you will be applying in the field, all you have to learn, stretch your patience, and choose to be joyful in learning. Positive outlook would always reflect in our attitude and character, which is essential in our existence as future law enforcer. God bless you and study more. Hello, Damians. I wish I could tell you that things will get better soon, but I couldn't. Instead, I would just wish you all to have hope and strength. Hope the things will eventually get better soon and strength to hold on until it does. Let us draw strength from each other as we continue to do our part to end this pandemic. Always remember that we are just here, very much willing to help and support you. God bless and keep safe always. In whatever we do, we will never succeed if we lack the will and perseverance to hide the obstruction that get in the way. A pleasant day, everyone. In this time, 
that we are in the ultimate challenge of life, always be optimistic. Always look at the brighter side of life. Just as we were given the chance to make education possible for all of us. Enjoy life while taking full of our responsibility. Whether as of a family member, a friend, an enemy, a student, or a citizen. Remember that we are fortunate enough. We live until this time. Let's just hope that one day our world will be healed. Moreover, let us be more cautious as we adhere to this new normal. We also have to believe that in God's perfect time, all will be well. And from that, we can continue living our life to the fullest and build a better future. Good luck and stay safe, everyone. Students, NDMC had come up recognizing the Mental Health Week in order to let you know that we are here to help and make you realize and say that communicating your struggles and challenges is okay. And this is one of the ways that you are taking care and showing love to yourselves. Regardless of the measure that our school is offering, we wanted to let you feel supported by us and the whole school community. We know that you are more likely to seek help from your peers than your parents, teachers, and your school guidance counselor. I know that it can be difficult to discuss issues about your personal life and what you have been going through. Please know that NDMC can be a place where you can talk about what you're going through, where you can seek help if you need it, and receive encouragement when you need one. Believe me, there is hope when you seek help. It is not easy, but it will get better when you get there. And never stop telling yourself, this too shall pass. You also need to be honest. Show how and what you feel. Empathize, understanding what the person is going through and of another's feelings. Acknowledge that you are struggling to understand what is going on and that you need help. Love, give importance to yourself that you are special. Give time. Time is of the essence because something must be done immediately. Hopeful because hope is being able to see that there is light despite all of the darkness. Do not give up because giving up is not an option. So Danians, please know that it's okay and you don't have to struggle in silence.